earth. The earth is made up of three parts. You can compare it to the parts of an egg. There is an outside shell of an egg which is the crust of the earth. There is the yolk at the center of the egg which is the core of the earth. There is the white part in the egg which is like the mantle of the earth. An egg shell is equally thick everywhere. The earth's crust is not. The earth's crust is thicker where there are mountains and thinner under the oceans. The outer shell is the crust. Then we have the mantle. Deep down at the center of the earth, we have the core. As we go inside the earth, it becomes very hot. It's so hot that the rock melts down. This is the mantle. The mantle is hot melted liquid rock. The mantle comes up from the cracks in the earth's crust. We call those places volcanoes. When the mantle comes out, we call it lava. When the lava comes up and spreads out, it becomes cold. When it becomes cold, it becomes a hard rock again. We get mountains when volcanoes erupt over and over again. The lava piles up to make a mountain. The islands of Andaman and Nicobar are all the tips of volcanoes that started under the ocean. One thing you should know about the crust is that it is not all just one piece. The earth's crust is actually made up of many pieces that come together like a jigsaw puzzle. The earth's crust is made up of six big pieces like this. They are floating on the liquid mantle. These puzzle pieces of the earth's crust keep slowly moving around, sliding past one another and bumping into one another. When any two pieces bump too fast or go away too fast, the ground shakes hard. This is an earthquake. It happens along the line where those two pieces are joined together. Quake means shake. Have you ever seen two cars after a head-on collision? The front ends of both cars are crumpled up. When two crust pieces push very hard against each other, their edges crumple and rise up. That gives us mountains. Our huge Himalayas are mountains like that. The crust pieces under the Himalayas are still pushing hard. That's why there are so many earthquakes there. The Himalayas are getting taller because of this too.